Alrighty guys and gals, Gunshy More back here with another taming guide video slash mod review. Where today we're going to be looking at the third mod in the Paleo Arc series, Paleo Arc Evo Plus Native Aquatics. Now I do realize a lot of people here originally thought Evo Plus meant that this was going to be a paid for version of the Paleo Arc mod. And well that is just false. Um, Evo Plus here is just supposed to represent that this is the mod that is going to have all their new creatures that they're adding into Arc, and that they're going to be keeping the variants in the TLCs in their own standalone mods. And now, just right out the gates, Evo Plus here did drop two creatures for us to review today, and I am very excited about that. And first off here, we have the Obelisk Squid. Now, you can kind of see where it's got its name from because it has a diamond on it and it is a little bit shaped like the obelisks. But these guys are basically kind of like a colacanth. They just swim around the ocean. They have random sizes and I do believe they only spawn in at level 1. But you can technically tame them in theory with a fishing basket. And there has been talk from uh, Depths himself about adding in breeding to these things. So that way you can breed up your own uh, obelisk squids. And that is definitely a thumbs up for me. Please do. I love making farms. I would definitely love to make a calamari farm. And now that brings me on to the next thing here for the obelisk squids. Where if you do kill one, they do drop calamari. And you can cook this to make uh, cooked calamari to eat. Um, sadly though, as of right now, there is a little bit of a bug and hopefully here in the next day they do get a hot fix out for it where you can't cook the calamari and it appears not to even be dropping from the obelisk squid, sadly. Um, and yeah. Now as well here, the obelisk squid does have an aberrant variant that does tend to spawn in the rivers and down in the blue zone. And from what I can tell, uh, they tend to have purple eyes and spawn in with bluish and purple hues compared to the normal variants. So there's not that much of a difference in between them. So lastly now for the obelisk squid, I do have the spawn commands here both for the normal variant along with the aberrant variant. Just so that way if you guys do want to go and spawn those in and play around with them, you can. Uh, just do keep in mind that first zero before the level, if you change that to a one, you can spawn them in tamed and you don't have to worry about force taming them. Um, and as well here to go along with those spawn commands, I do have the spawn commands here for both the raw calamari and the cooked calamari. Just because the obelisk squid is a little bugged right now where it does not seem to be dropping those. So if you guys do want to spawn those in and play with them as well, there's the commands. Now moving on to the next creature here added by Evo Plus, we have the Cryptoclitus. And as you can see here from me riding around on the back of it, um, it is actually a rather small plesiosaur. And that is because this guy is supposed to be... Uh, all around utility dino that's supposed to be good from the very start of the game to the very end of the game and as well for where these guys spawn they spawn in all the exact same spots that ichthyosaurs spawn and you can also tend to find some obelisk squids around them um, and as well you guys don't have to worry about these guys being aggressive to you they are completely passive and will flee if you guys do manage to attack them or deal any damage to them. Now, as well, the Cryptoclitus here, just like the Obelisk Squid, does have an aberrant version that does spawn over in the blue zone, in aberration just along with the uh, Obelisk Squids. And in my opinion, this one is the easier one to tame, just because it's much easier to acquire raw calamari, which is their favorite food. Now you can also feed them raw prime fish and raw fish, but it's quite literally like raw fish gives 1%, raw prime gives 10%, uh, raw calamari is just an insta-tame essentially. So yeah, do keep that in mind. And as well here for the Cryptoclitus, as you guys can see, I did manage to find both the spawn commands for the regular variant and for the aberrant variant. And as you can see there on the right, 
it has such a cool pattern to it. I'm definitely, as soon as I hop back on the server, I'm adding this to it and going in and taming me up one of those. Um, and as well, to go with those, I did find the spawn command here for the saddle. So that way, if you guys do just want to spawn these guys all in, you can and go play around with them. Now, before we begin here in taming the Crypto Clytus, first thing I'm going to do here is change my settings so that way they are as close to official as possible. And the way that I'm going to do that is by clicking difficulty hard and then over here in game rules, rules, go down and turn single player settings off. This is just so that way in my single player world here, I am as close to official as possible. Okay. Now that I got all my settings changed over, we are going to be going and taming up a crypto. So first things first here, I'm going to go into my inventory here and I'm going to be opening up my dino book. Now this is another mod. It is quite literally just like dino decks, except it will give me a lot more info, especially for modded dinos. Now if I quickly just type in the crypto, boom, it pops up. It will already be auto filled out to level 150 and it's going to tell me exactly how much food I'm going to need and it also tell me what food it prefers most. And as you guys can see here, the favorite food of the crypto is definitely the raw calamari. So that is what you're going to want to get. Or you could just go for raw prime fish meat. That might be easier to get uh, off the bat when you're a low level. Um, but the only thing that I can see here that is wrong is the taming method where it says it's a knockout. This is a passive tame. But as well, now that I have seen exactly how much calamari I need to tame a 150, we are gonna go and actually look for a Cryptoclitus. Now, as you can see, the only one that I have spawning on the map is the level 20 that is over here. And now for the purpose of this video, this absolutely works just because even at 150, it would be an insta tame. So what we're going to do is we're going to go quickly swim over here, the Crypto Clytus, and I will explain more to you guys on how we'll get the Calamari once we get over to him. Okay, so now as you see me approaching the Crypto Clytus here, we should start to see some Obelisk Squids as well, except, boom, they have the little problem that the little jellyfish have as well, that they sometimes spawn out of the water, and while when they go out of the water, they die. And all you have to do now is just approach them and pike them up with your pike and you will collect them. Just do be careful because you will have some cryptoclitis uh, running around. And that is one that I, uh, I left just stranded out in the water here earlier. So now if I do look, I should have the other cryptoclitus just down there. And technically, uh, once you do get the raw calamari here in the last slot of your hotbar, um, the Cryptoclytus should start approaching you like the Ichthyosaurs, but as of right now, that feature is just not implemented. Um, they are working on getting that added in. It's just taking a little bit of time, so do give it a day or two. But if you guys do want to add this in right now to your game and go after a Crypto, I highly recommend that you get yourself an Ichthyosaur first, so that way you can do that, hop off, get kind of close to them, and you can kind of corner them. And kind of mash E but as you can see this is a lot difficult and then boom as you can see it just took one little feed and now I actually have this one tamed and we do have that other one that from my testing earlier that is swimming around I do believe that was the 135 um, and once you guys do actually get these guys tamed you will need a saddle to ride them um, and the saddle is available here at level 25 so if I quickly search it up crypto yeah, level 25. So now moving on to the Crypto Clytus's abilities. First thing first, uh, you will notice they are able to go on land. Now you do not need a saddle to bring them up on land. You just have to have them follow you. Um, but when you do have them on land, they are very limited to what they are able to do. They're extremely slow. They're only able to do their bite attack along with their cosmetic roar. And that just makes them extremely vulnerable on land. But it does also mean that if you do need a quick getaway from an extremely bad situation, you can run them up on land and get away. But once you do get them in the water, you have more abilities that you have access to. Firstly, you do still have the left click bite, 
but in addition to that you do get access to your right click spin attack now that does a bunch of damage and I highly recommend it you can kind of spam it just watch your stamina and along with that ability you do also have veiled now veiled kind of works like an underwater ghillie suit and you guys all know how a ghillie suit works it just lowers the detection range from hostile creatures that's the same thing veiled does so it doesn't make you invisible it just makes your detection range extremely low so do keep that in mind when you get close to say like mosasaurs or even megalodons but now if you guys actually hit the c button you can hit and expand the veiled effect area and now you are also veiling teammates so those two obelisk squids here next to me they are considered veiled and concealed and if you guys actually look here above uh, the ground uh, this little particle effect is the actual veiled uh, area of effect let me quickly take off my scuba goggles but you can actually somewhat see the effect of the veiled and it is somewhat of a big area it's just I'd say about the same size as the generator or maybe even smaller and all that does is again is expand that gilly effect over to all your other creatures but for the cryptoclitus it has one more ability and that is that if you go and take oil which drops from the obelisk squid or even from the basilisk not basilisk baliosaur the little whale um it will craft up this cryptoclitus gel and this gel will give you jellyfish immunity and as well if you put it into a standing torch or a wall torch it will burn like angular gel and give off that blue light effect so now lastly here for things that you can do with the cryptoclitus if you do manage to actually get a male and a female, they are breedable. I do believe though you have to have them in the water to actually make them breed. So let me quickly move these guys into the water. That is probably one little parameter that you do have to follow is that you have to have them in the water. It would be nice though if I could just leave them out here on the ground and let it happen. But yeah. So if I quickly get him in the water, are you guys going to start? Yep, there you go. You just have to have them in the water. And I do believe that this is a pregnation kind of breeding. They don't drop eggs. So this will take some time. Alrighty, guys. So that is all I have for the Cryptoclitus and the Obelisk Squid. So if you guys have found any interest in this mod, please do go and download it. I will have a link in the description here. And also, if you guys do go and download it, please do leave a like on the mod and share it. It does help out the Paleo Arc team a whole bunch when you guys do that. And as well, if you guys have found yourself at all being helped by this video, please do consider sharing and liking it as well. And subscribing and ringing that notification bell. That does help out the channel a whole lot. But anyways, this has been Gunshot Mora signing out. Peace.